tough for a lot of families in Connecticut right now, but folks in New Haven's New Hallville neighborhood know they have a place to turn when the cupboard is bare. But now that lifeline is having its own trouble staying alive. It's gonna be heavy. Careful back potatoes. Two Thursdays a month, things are bustling here at the privately run Believe in Me Empowerment Center on Dixwell Ave in New Hallville. Okay, good. Along with other outreach services, Believe in Me runs this twice a month food bank, handing out fresh produce and some meat to anyone who needs it. There have always been long lines. Lately, they have been longer. There was a lady came in from Westville. She had lost her job. She said she only had a jar of peanut butter in the refrigerator for two weeks. Um, uh, that was very touching for me. I think it's a very needed type of a thing for the people in the community. I mean, some of us have and we're some of the have-nots, and this right here is a source that makes us not feel as bad like we don't have as much. <coughs> Demand is up here and donations are down. There is some help from the Connecticut Food Bank and other sources, but not enough. Because anyone that comes here is... is given something. It may not be everything they need, but they are giving something. Here you go, sir. This is a holiday weekend. I would love to be able to give out hot dogs and hamburgers, but unfortunately we can't do that at this time. Well, we do have some meats, but we don't have that cookout material. What would make families smile while they're playing jump rope, just to be happy. Sometimes when people who come here have a good month, they come to donate instead of bringing food home. The people who use this place say that's what will keep it running no matter what. And thank God for the ones that really do care, and this proves that they really do care. If you would like to help the Believe in Me Food Bank, we can show you how. We have the information on our website at WTNH.com.